Noches, mis amigos y familia. ¿Cómo están ustedes? Hope everyone's all right. It's late here. Um, it's about 1 a.m. now. Just got back in from work. Um, it's been an interesting day in the market. I've had some good news and some bad news on a couple stocks that I own. So I thought I'd do a very quick update video. Um, so yeah, no time wasting. Let's roll the credits and get on with it. Right, like I said, one company had bad news and one company had good news today, both in space. You know, I'm a big fan of space. But the company that had some bad news today was Maxar Technologies. Currently, their share price is $29.21. Um, oh, their ex dividend dates next month. But let's face it, if you're in Maxar, you're not here for the dividend because the dividend is absolutely pants. But, you know, gratitude's our attitude. We'll take anything they're offering. But anyway, um, as you can see here today, they fell off a cliff and then started to come back up before declining again. And that was due to Maxar pushing back their satellite launch date to 2022. Space company Maxar Technologies announced, announced yesterday that it had postponed the launch of its next generation satellite till next year. The company was supposed to launch the next generation imagery satellites in the fourth quarter of the year, but has now pushed it back till next year. Maxar CEO Dan Jablonski revealed this to investors during their earnings call yesterday, stating that they had to move the launch day. The latest development has seen the company stock downgraded by some analysts. It's a shame because recently analysts recently upgraded their, their rating to a buy and set a price target of $50. Now they've changed it to a hold, uh, a hold. They've actually dropped that target down to $40, which is still up, um, you know, there's, there's still an increase, still gains to be had, but it's just, you know, not as appealing now. Maxar's Worldview Legion is its constellation of six imagery satellites and is the primary reason why it continues to obtain lucrative contracts from the United States Defense and Intelligence Agencies. However, Maxar has pushed back the first Legion launch several times. The company is now targeting to launch it between March and June next year. For bulls like myself, um, this bad news, all it does to me is create another buying opportunity. I'm able now to, to lower my cost average. Um, I can see for some people that, you know, it'd be a bit of a turn off. There's a lot of other space companies now, and you may figure to try your luck with some of them. Um, with the competition that's, that's emerging now, I don't think Maxar can afford to push too many of these launches back because there's a lot of competition in this space now. So um, yeah, they do need to buck their ideas up. But for me personally, this just creates a buying opportunity, which I plan to take advantage of. Maxar also posted earnings, which was a bit of a mixed bag. Um, you can see here for fiscal Q2, Maxar posted revenue of 473 million, which re represented a 7.7 .7 year over year increase. But at the same time, um, their free cash flow, it, they got it down to 55 million, uh, negative 55 million, sorry, um, which is, yeah, terrible. But the year before that, there was negative 92 million. So even though they're down, it's, it's getting better. So a bit of a mixed bag there, really. Right, Maxar in my eyes, long term is still good money. Um, the, the whole space sector as a whole um, hasn't taken off yet and I don't think will really take off until 2023 onwards. Um, so it's going to be very volatile and all it takes is for to have a bad launch or a launch not, um, not, not go to plan and the stock price is going to drop. So it's going to be very volatile and even when you do have a successful launch, you're going to have people waiting to take profit. So it's going to be very up and down for a while. But I think Maxar's, um, you know, long term, it's going to be good. They're still getting big government contracts, never mind all the other stuff. So 
if you're prepared to hold long term, then it's a good stock. If if you're in this for the short term, then yeah, you're gonna lose a lot of hair with it. But um, yeah, diamond hands for me with Maxo. But yeah, now on to some good news. The whole reason that the money hat is on in the first place. My favorite stock out of all the ones I own, Astra Space, currently today trading at ten dollars and twenty two cents. Today they're up 23%, and that's due to Astra announcing multi-launch contract and first launch with Department of Defense. Astra bulls like myself have been waiting for this for some time now. Right, Astra Space today announced a launch window beginning August the 27th, 2021 for its commercial orbital launch with the United States Space Force. Following this launch, Astra is under contract to perform a second launch later this year. Excellent news. We are thrilled to partner with Astra on this mission and believe this showcases critical low-cost mobile and responsive launch capability, said Colonel Carlos Quinones. We're excited to kick off a multi-launch campaign with the Space Force, said Chris Kemp, founder, chairman and CEO of Astra. The orbital demonstration launch allows our team to verify numerous upgrades to our launch system. STP 27AD1 will be conducted from Astra's Kodiak spaceport, located at Pacific Spaceport Complex in Kodiak, Alaska. The launch window will begin at 1 p.m. on Friday, August 27th, 2021, and will be open through Saturday, September 11th. I really hope they're televising this because I've, I've got to see this. Right, this is some excellent news for Astra. Like you can see here um, on a one month chart, on 9th of July, the stock was trading at $14.61. And then it's just been on a downward decline and went as low as $8.22. Like I said to people before, don't buy into Astra unless you're prepared to hold for long term. It's going to be a long, stressful, volatile ride for you if you're looking to swing trade this. It really isn't the stock. Um, but as you can see, just with um, a bit of news on an upcoming launch, served as a very good catalyst and it just pushed the price right up today, back into double digits. But I'm in this for the long term. I'm not really bothered about these micro movements, but it's just good to see, um, you know, some movement in the stock. But I don't care how much percentage it, it rises up. I'm, I'm not selling my shares. They're aiming to have daily launches by 2025. so. You know, if you're selling beforehand, you don't really believe in what they're trying to achieve. And I'm, I'm not here to swing trade this stock. I'm, I'm looking to hold this for the long term. Space is going to be a booming sector from like 2023, 2025 and onwards. And I think Astra is going to be a big player in that. So for me to sell beforehand just doesn't really make any sense with what I'm trying to achieve personally. Let's remember what Chris Kemp himself said. The next billionaires will be made in space. According to Kemp, the number of small satellites in orbit is expected to grow by tens of thousands within the next decade or so. Most of these satellites are here to provide better connectivity on Earth to generally help us manage the resources on Earth, Kemp said. And there's over a trillion dollar economy emerging in space, and most of it isn't people in space. It's putting the satellites into Earth orbit, where we'll have the opportunity to better observe and connect our planet. Anyway, people, we're going to wrap this one up. I just wanted to make a quick update video on two companies I've spoken about before and two companies I'm passionate about. Maxar, yeah, it wasn't looking too good for them today, unfortunately. Delaying their launches and uh, their earnings was, you know, mixed. Um, some of it was good, but then they still got very negative cash flow and yeah the ceo wasn't giving clear guidance of where they're going next quarter but you know um i believe in 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 what they've got going on there so i'm, I'm gonna stick with them for now and then good news with astra i've been waiting on that launch date for a while now now we know around august 27th i'm actually on holiday from work at that time so yeah i know that's not going to interfere I'm definitely going to watch the launch and whether it's successful or unsuccessful, um, I'm, I'm staying with, with Astra. Uh, but if it is successful, you can guarantee that stock price is going gonna, is gonna to skyrocket after that. Anyway, that's a wrap for this video. Um, thanks for watching. If you're still here, please hit that like button. We need all the help I can get with this YouTube algorithm. 
and also join us um hit that subscribe button and also that notification bell get notified anytime i post a video but anyway take care everyone remember to let gratitude be your attitude and i will see you soon for another one adios